All right, June, the very beginning part of June, and here's where we are with grow box number one, lots of potatoes. Now we'll go over to our next grow box, and we've got a bunch of peas we're harvesting here. And they're all doing pretty well inside of this hoop house. Then over here, garden bed number three. Some corn and beans and variety of things in that in that one. Now we'll go into the greenhouse. We're eating all this lettuce and then we're gonna be planting the tomatoes that'll stay in through the summer. When it gets cold and the tomatoes die, we plant more lettuce. So we pretty much grow year-round in this greenhouse. Some of our vining plants we hope will cover our water collection tank. Some of the flowers in the rock garden doing real well. Finding some violets. Got another rock garden over there. Some fruit trees coming up here. We planted quite a few other fruit trees too. Fruit trees at different stages of progress. Some are probably not the appropriate chill hours required for our area, but uh, we'll see how they do. We're in this small salad box. Things are coming up well. Lots of nasturtium. And uh, we're at 7,000 feet. First part of June. Here's our cold frame. We used that in January, but uh, now it's just attracting butterflies and we're letting things go to flower so we can collect all the seeds. Quick glance at the alfalfa field. That all came up nicely. We'll move along now. Pond is doing well. A lot of the early flowers have already bloomed and lost all their petals. The wetlands, our experiment to capture our 40 gallons of water from our clothes washer and 30 gallons of water from our dishwasher, its use, um, turned out real well. The uh, end tank here, we got duckweed in there, and some hoverfly larvae, I'm sure. And that's good to feed your fish, koi and goldfish and whatnot. Continues to drain through these rocks, and we put some violets at the end just to have something growing at the end. And the spot where we put our bird seed. Watch where you put your bird seed. A lot of times it's uh, a lot of weeds, no seeds. But uh, there's the wetlands. Bathroom gray water potatoes. It'll be nice for me to look back on this video and see all these different grow spots in about three months. Let's move along to something else. Some porch beans. Do a quick peek at uh, some of the hydroponic vegetables. And we got one more. Our herb, the herb garden, and uh, a couple weeks ago we had some really cold weather. Got down to 20 degrees at night. And here's our other large garden. The reason everything's still doing good, we used plastic sheeting and we stapled it to two by fours and made little sort of impromptu greenhouses for everything. But uh, I think our corn will be knee high by the 4th of July. But there's our garden update of where we are. First part of June.